In this video, we'll show you how to install the Panda 3DS emulator on Android, the ultimate Nintendo 3DS emulator for your smartphone. Panda 3DS is a new emulator for the Nintendo 3DS. It allows fans of the console to enjoy their favorite games with various enhancements and unique features on all their devices. Better to be mentioned that it's a beta version, so it's still under development and Panda 3DS also available on Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. After watching this video, your Android device will become a Nintendo 3DS console. Please like and subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to hit the bell icon for future updates. It is with a heavy heart that we address the challenges the emulation community is currently facing. Nintendo has been aggressively targeting emulator developers, forcing them to shut down through legal action and DMCA notices. Popular platforms like GitHub and GitLab have been compelled to remove emulator-related content, and even Discord has banned entire communities dedicated to this effort. This isn't just about emulation, it's about preserving the legacy of gaming. Many popular emulators are no longer accessible. If developers are silenced, an entire generation of gaming history may be lost forever. Now, more than ever, we need to stand together and inspire these creators to continue their work. Their contributions mean so much to so many, and they need to know that we're behind them. Let's encourage them, support them, and remind them that what they do matters. Our first step is to download and install the Panda 3DS emulator on our phone from its official website or GitHub page. Once downloaded, install the APK file. The APK will install quickly. When you first open the emulator, you will see an empty screen because no games have been added yet. The setup is simple and straightforward. To add games, click on the gear icon in the bottom right corner. Open the general settings. Select the games folder, then choose import folder. Navigate to the location in your internal storage where your Nintendo 3DS games are stored. To give permission, click use this folder and allow access. The emulator supports games in .3DS and .CIA formats. Once that's done, go back to the main screen and your games will appear in the library. Just tap to launch any game. As I mentioned earlier, this emulator is still under development. It seems they may have released the application in a hurry, as I didn't find many useful options like graphic settings or control customization. You will find some options such as swap screen, rotation. Panda 3DS is still a relatively new emulator, but its performance is phenomenal. I'm getting over 100 FPS, which is impressive for an emulator at this stage. It handles most games smoothly, showing great potential despite being in the early stages of development. In the future, with more updates and optimizations, I believe it will become one of the top choices for emulating Nintendo 3DS games. As the development team continues to refine the emulator, if you have any questions, feel free to join our Discord server. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more updates. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Take care.